Hello everyone. This week in year one, we have been looking at how do brilliant propositions compare numbers? And we have introduced the language greater than, less than, equal to, and very recently we have introduced two symbols as well. So for example, on the board, you can see that we have got one, two, three on this side and two on the other side. And we have been using language to compare the two amounts, the two numbers. So for example, I would say, that three is greater than two. And I would say that two is less than three. And that's the terminology that we have been using, um, but then recently we have been introducing new symbols. So you can see here that we have got kind of a sideways V, um, and on this side, I hope you can see that there are some cubes, and you will see that there are more cubes on this side compared to the other side. So when we are using the symbol, the greatest number is always facing towards this side where there are, um, where it's a bigger gap, where more cubes we can see. More cubes can fit in there, so it's near the nearest, um, it's near the biggest number. So um, for example, if we were to look at um, eight and nine, we were going to compare those numbers, I would be able to say that eight is less than nine, and nine is greater than eight. The same as seven and seven, well, we know that seven and seven are exactly the same, so they are equal. So in here, I would put my equal symbol. We have got five and three, and if we were to compare these numbers, you might want to use cubes as well to show to represent how big three is and how big five is. Um, and you'll be able to see that five is a bigger number. Five is the greatest number, so, I'm going to point my bigger, uh, biggest n to 5 like this. So 5 is greater than 3. Um, if you wanted to have an extra challenge, we have got um, just a little bit of uh, math here to do before we can do the symbol. So if we were to do 3 add 2, something 6. So first of all, we would have to work out 3 add 2. And we could use our knowledge before about um, when we have used um, our mental math strategies of adding um, three and two in our heads. So we would do two on our fingers, three in our heads, three, four, five. I know that this is now five. I'm going to make a note to remind myself, five and six. I'm now going to compare those numbers. Which one's bigger? Six is bigger, so I'm going to make sure that the biggest end is facing towards my six. So I know that 3 add 2 is less than 6, and 6 is greater than 3 add 2. So the challenges this week look like this. I'm just going to share my screen. So for our puzzle task, we have got, can you compare two sets of objects from around your house using the vocabulary greater than, less than, equal to? Okay, so you could use Lego, you could use anything around the house. Our um, main activity is, can you compare the problems below by using the correct symbols? So this is where the symbols are going to be introduced, remembering that the biggest end is pointed towards the biggest number. So there's six, something nine, ten, something ten, eight, something four, and then we have got the little extra challenge at the bottom, four add five, something nine and see if you can fill in those gaps for me. And then as another extra challenge, we have got um, our um, submarine task, which looks like this. So, would you rather have eight sweets plus two more or 12 sweets? And I would like you to explain your answer using words, using pictures. And um, if, if mum and dad want to write their ideas down as well, that would be perfect. Just making sure that you're explaining your answer as you go. Um, I really hope this uh, video has been helpful and I really look forward to seeing the maths that you get up to next week. I will see you all soon. Bye.